some massive, massive games coming up at the weekend. Liverpool welcome Brighton and Anfield, two o'clock on Sunday, and then it's a, 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 a remarkable game to look forward to. Arsenal head to the Etihad uh, for the later kick-off. The Gunners currently lead the way ahead of Liverpool on goal difference, with City just a point behind. John, Andy, I mean, in all seriousness, what a title race we've got. Incredible. Um, exciting. I think you could almost throw three balls in the air. City, Liverpool and Arsenal. I think it's so tight. It's so difficult to call. Yeah. Um, Arsenal, I feel, this year... I've probably got the best opportunity than what they've had previously. I think if you look at them, Declan Rice has made them better. Mm-hmm. Um, Havertz has come in of late, and and and, and all the questions he's asked about well him is he's, he's played late. Hard. He's played well lately. Yeah. Jesus is on his way back. Mm-hmm. Saka is a magnificent player, um, and for me, you know, I, if I had to go with one. I would probably still go with City, mm. only because they've been over the course quite a few times in recent years. I'm with you. It's amazing, right? You can't split them. I'm just leaning towards City because I went for them at the start of the season, mm. right? But if you're a Liverpool fan and you watch the way your team played against Manchester City, mm-hmm. you've got to fancy yeah. your chances. And bizarrely, Andy John, I don't know whether this will make sense, but I actually think Arsenal have got a better chance mm. with three teams involved than last year just with City. I just think they might enjoy the added pressure of the teams involved. John, I just got the uh, fixtures up, Ali, for Arsenal in April. Now, obviously, they've got City this weekend back in the March. <laughs> yeah. They then got Luton home, Brighton away, Bayern home. Then they home to Villa, Bayern away, Wolves away, Chelsea home, Spurs away. All of that lot in the month of April. That is a, that's a test, isn't it? It's going to be a test of the squad it, it, and the resources and everything. 100%, Andy. I, I think Villa's a tough game. Bayern yeah. Munich, quarter-final of the Champions League in between them. But I would almost say, yeah, they want to continue going as far as they can in the Champions League. But I think the league, the league is so important to Arsenal. It's been so long si- since they won it. Um, Arteta just seems to have... All the players are working really hard for him. You know, he's. I, I think the impact that he's made, considering they wanted him out two or three, years, yeah. two or three seasons yeah. ago, they stuck <clears> with him. Just <throat> goes to show if you stick with a manager. Um, and they finish then with Chelsea and Spurs, which are very, very tough games. Yeah. Cause Chelsea, they'll, they'll be, Spurs will be trying to get into the top four as well. Do you know one of the biggest changes for me, boys, that I've, that I've noticed? Ateta's obviously got his team firing. You speak about Odegaard, Saka and boys like who have been sensational. I actually think probably the key to Arsenal are the two centre-backs. I genuinely do, Gabriel and Saliba. I think their importance cannot be understated. I thought that's when they struggled a little bit last year, you know, when they lost one of the centre-backs and Holden came in. I just felt they lost a little bit. But the point I was trying to make, and you'll have been there, John, obviously far better team, good brand of football, but the difference within the stadium... The Emirates Stadium is the last 18 months, two years, is absolute night and day. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. The, the place is rocking. Yeah, and when they get behind them, Arsenal there, you know, the Emirates is a £60,000, but, you know, it's 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 60,000 seater. It's like a bowl, isn't it? There's no gaps around, and they do really, really make some noise there. But also, you haven't mentioned they're the goalkeeper. Yeah. You know, yeah. I think he was pretty questioned. He was pretty much questioned when, yeah. when he moved Ramsdale. Out. I'm surprised Ramsdale, by the way, didn't ask for a move mm. after, on the back of that because he'd have been very, very disappointed. And if I if I was him, I'd have been saying, look, you prefer another one to me. I'm, he, go- he I'm, surely, good, I'm good enough to play every week. He surely had a chat with Gareth, though. I mean, the, the first thing you do, you're, you're Alan Ramsdale, you're going to say, look, is this going to affect me going to Euros? That must have had a, con- he must yeah. have had a conversation there, surely. Yeah, because if you're, if you're a good goalkeeper, which he is, you've got to back yourself. You want to play every week. Mm. You don't want to be a, you don't want to be a, a, you know, second-choice goalkeeper mm. if you're that good. Do I you know. know what I mean? And I thought he was a fantastic... But Ray has come in, you know, and he's been excellent, big signing from, from Brentford, and uh, he hasn't let anybody down. This game, John, for Arsenal against City at the weekend, sometimes when I've watched Ars- an Arsenal team under Mikel against Pep... I think sometimes previously Arteta has got a little wrapped up in trying to outdo Pep. Maybe in his head a little, a little bit. bit. 
Yeah, you know, tactically coming up with something that's going to maybe throw Guardiola off centre a little bit or whatever. Mm. I don't know. So, so I'm really intrigued to know how they're going to go about this one at the weekend. It's, it's such a pivotal game. It's such a colossal game. I actually think Arsenal got to get on the front foot. Uh, what, I, I, really go for I it? I think so, because it's such a hard game anyway. Arsenal could lose, but at least you lose having a real go. You know, try and play in Man City's half, which is difficult because City keep the ball so well. Yep. But I think when Arsenal get the opportunity, they've got to get it forward, get the ball out to Saka, Havertz, Rice, try and control that midfield, but it's difficult because he's up against Rodri. Bernardo uh, Silva. Bernardo Silva, you know, Foden. And, and City, I think, have probably got more match winners if you look at Haaland, yep. Foden. Yeah. De Bruyne, you yep. know, the, the, what do you see them against Manchester United? Doku looked United? dangerous last night. Well, he was different way. class last night, he Doku, wasn't he? Yeah, he did. Yeah. He did. Prediction team, John? I have to go City. I yeah. know I'm a former Arsenal man, but I think it's really important that City try and get going on the run um, and try and get ahead of the other two. What do you think? Mate? I think we might get a draw at the weekend. Yeah. I could see I could see 1-1, one, one, even 2-2. Two, two. I think I'm seeing a different Arsenal and Arsenal that don't always operate at their absolute max, but still win and and pick up points. At the weekends, it's it's not going to be easy. But I think they could draw that game. Though. What do you think, Al? I'm leaning towards City. Leaning, but with no real conviction. I just think it's. I mean, we're talking about Liverpool side also, who have only lost two games this season in the league, and one of them they shouldn't have lost. With you know, with all yep. due respect, the, the game at Tottenham. So I just think <clears throat> we're in for one. What a ride we're going to get all the way to the end of the season. It's I, think, I think if it was at the Emirates, I'd be I'd be siding <coughs> towards Arsenal. Yes, the fact that home advantage. The, the fact that's at the Etihad, mm. um, you know, City turn it on there most weeks, don't they? Absolutely they do. Talk Sport Breakfast, waking you up Monday to Friday morning from six a.m. on AM on DAB via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.